Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see a one more function in Excel that is a conversion function. So this, conver this conversion function is mainly used to convert from one unit to another unit. So we know, we know the different units, inches, uh, feet, years, years can be converted into a days, hours can be converted into a minutes like this. We can convert from one unit to another unit. So let us take this one. So I have given some example here. So we need to convert the Celsius to foreign heat, inches to foot, year to days, and hours to minutes and seconds. So here the yellow representation is the input and the green representation will be the output. So here I need to find the foreign heat of given Celsius. So for that we need to use a function called convert. So convert and it takes the three parameters. You can see here first one is a number the from unit and the to unit. So the number will be this one. I will give the input in this cell. So I will select this cell and from unit. So from means Celsius. So you can scroll down. This is the a number of units available. So in that we have to convert the Celsius to foreign heat. So in order to know the shortcut for the Celsius, you can simply scroll down. So you can find here, see degree Celsius and degree foreign heat. So C represents degree Celsius and F represents the foreign heat. So just give a C in a quotations and then third parameter is two units. So which unit we need to convert? So foreign heat, capital F, right? So see, so I will give one degree Celsius. So it is equal to 33.8 degrees foreign heat. If I give here a 10 degrees Celsius, so I'll get the corresponding foreign heat, right? And coming to the inches, so here also the same procedure, use the convert function, give the cell, the input cell, and the next one is a from unit. So from is inches. So you can see here inches is defined with the IN. So give IN, sorry. So I N and close the quotations and two unit from two unit for two unit. So here I have given two commas, right? Yes. So for two units, it is a foot. So F T you can observe here. F T is for foot. So I will close this one so that if you give here 12 inches, we'll get one foot. We know that 12 inches is one foot and 72 inches will be the six foot and coming to the year and day so here you will convert the year this is a cell and the number of years to days right uh, convert this one from that is a year so you can scroll down for the year so you'll find one the year uh, see y r so keep y r in the quotations comma and you can convert it into days. So it is a day. The shortcut for finding the days is day. So here you can give one. So 365.25, right? So one year is equal to 365.25. So we know that leap year will be coming for every four years. So that will be divided. So that's why one year will be 365.25, right? And similarly, if you go with the two, so you'll get 730.5. If you go with 1.5, so you'll get a half right so if you go with a 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 years is equal to 182.625 days right so like that we can convert this and also give the hours which will be converted into minutes and seconds i will go with a one hour so is equal to convert and give the number that is a input cell comma and go with the minutes sorry hours so from hours we need to convert into minutes and seconds so just go with the hours so our shortcut is HR. So give in the quotations HR and it will be converted into minutes MN. MN. You know that. So one hour is equal to 60 minutes. And also you can convert this one into seconds. So give the input here and go with the, our HR and give the second one that is the seconds SEC. So which will convert, which will convert into seconds 
right so this is how we can use a conversions so you can get you can convert from one unit to another unit and you can find here so what are the possible conversions by placing con vrt convert function and uh, use a number just a number give the comma so these are the inputs right so from unit these are the from unit you can convert from yard right so light year so year days so we can convert from days to seconds right so these are all the different parameters different units from which unit to from which unit you can you can simply uh, select this one teaspoon or a tablespoon we can convert it into one to another right so like that we can simply use the convert function to convert from one unit to another unit right so hope you understood this one so if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you are real, real enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much